I like that we haven't done this in like six months and that it immediately starts and it sounds like it's like conspiracy theory podcast. Or I don't something. know. I think you just insert a Uranus joke here and then move on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> deal. All right, we're back. Gentlemen. Yes. Yeah. Good to see you all. Chris, Fantastic. I haven't seen you since the pandemic. Not in person. Yeah, like last time I was in Joshua Tree, maybe? I don't even remember. Workbench Con? So good to be back. Yeah. We didn't give up on the show. We all got busy with life stuff. And then we were thinking about it like, if we're going to do the show, and we really appreciate all y'all telling us how much you miss it. Yes. Like, we got Thank you. a lot of DMs, like, on a pretty regular basis. Very nice harassment. Yeah. Nobody was mad. No. And they just missed it. We got busy, and we never had a plan to take this hiatus. We just kept kind of skipping a week here or there, and then they kind of stacked on top. And then Chris kind of texted the three of us. We have a group chat. And you texted exactly what me and Mike had just talked about a few days. We really like doing it it tends to fall low onto the priorities of our other sort of things. And so when we have more than usual amount of work, it tends to fall. Right. So what we decided was, let's do this with more effort, not less. Let's make it less of like that one extra thing that we all get on a Zoom call and record one hour a week. Maybe we'll do it a little bit less often, but let's go big when we do it and commit all the way. And we've got video now. Yeah, and that's something we had talked about yeah. before, like just integrating video into the version we were already doing, which like how exciting would that be to just look at our faces while we're still just on a Zoom call? Well, when we do show and tell, it might be a little more convenient instead of our horrible descriptions of being like, okay, so imagine <laughs> yeah. a table, but it's not a normal table. Let yeah. me go. You know what I mean? It's got so, three legs instead yeah, of four. Yeah, we're going to be able to have pop-ups on screen. Yeah. We're going to be able to, if you already posted the video, we can take clips from it yeah. and show it to the people. I think it's going to be really good for that show and tell kind of like aspect of yeah. the show. We work in a visual medium. And a podcast is great, but this opens up some new opportunities. Big yes. time. And it also opens up to us having a reason not just to get on a phone call, which was we all kind of said, like, we like this idea that we have, like, a one-hour schedule to catch up with your friends. Yeah. But it's also easy to procrastinate on something that you like that doesn't feel like it's the most essential part of your business right. apparatus. What I think is great about this, and we're going to experiment. It'll start one way, and we'll kind of adapt and evolve. But I'm really excited about almost treating it as like, like a monthly kind of get together where we can bring in some outside people, yes. learn some new techniques, do a lot more demos where it's not me trying to explain something that's really hard to visualize. It can right. just be like, Here check it is. out this awesome rock. I mean, we're starting it out already <laughs> in this episode. Like we've got, we got demos. activities planned. So stay tuned. It's going to be exciting, everybody. But yeah, this is going to be cool because what we're in as Chris says, the greater Los Angeles area. <laughs> Did I say that? We're in Whittier, California. Chris calls it the greater LA, LA, LA Metro. County. It's LA yeah. County. He's like, we're in the Metro for sure. <laughs> um, but everybody in LA can just pop in, yeah. do a little segment with us, we'll maybe be... do a little episode. It could be a lot of fun. So since it's been about six months, what have you been working on? I'm sure there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, what's Chris? the one project you <laughs> want to highlight? Why don't you start? No, I'll just talk about what I've worked on most recently. And actually, like it kind of works as a micro version of the macro of what I've been doing. So cool. you can kind of see it behind us. We'll throw some pictures in there, but yeah. a couple of slab and epoxy coffee tables. They're looking epoxy. very good. Yes. So I would say that these are longer, more in-depth projects than I have been working on. And that's kind of been the big shift that I've made in the last six months is yeah. doing fewer videos, but hopefully better videos. Less, but more committed. Yes. The one the video podcast. that's like in line with what you've been working on is that gigantic, I don't know if it was a dining table. It was yeah. a dining table, Yeah, so there was table, the big right? dining table. It was and then, huge. Yeah, it was like 10 and a half feet. <sighs> and then two more coffee tables behind us. You can see another slab over there that's going to be for a desk. So kind of doing what you, Ben especially has talked about in the past, and I've not done a good job of, which is instead of just like dipping your toe in one time and then moving on, kind of do a few projects within a space and try to develop something. So sticking with that for like, it's been a few months and like I probably have a few months ahead of me of making projects like these. Um, and honestly, I would say, so towards the maybe fall last year, I feel like I hit my rock bottom of YouTubing where like I wasn't super happy with all of the content that I was putting out. Got you. And so I wanted to, I, I shifted to doing a little bit less, happy but with making the better stuff. Happy with the results. Um, both. Yeah. Like th there was like yeah. I, I still put you know effort into every video, but there were a few videos that I made where I was like I wouldn't be making this if I hadn't 
pre-committed to things. Right. And I felt like this is backwards. Like I need to be doing the things I want to do and then finding outlets for those rather than saying like, yeah, I'll do three videos this month and then being like, what can I do three of in this month? Like that just and felt in the backwards. meantime, sacrifice my one banger idea. Right. So instead, it's like do the banger idea. Yeah. And if the other things get built, cool. Yeah. But focus on the big thing first. So doing that and now like, so I did that for a little while and I felt like I did see results. I was kind of like going back and forth between project woodworking tip video, project woodworking tip video. Got a little bit burnt out of the woodworking tip videos and now I was like, let's just do projects only. Yeah. Maybe occasionally we'll pepper something else in if there's a good idea, but like I'm not going to force it or shoehorn something in every month. Um, and I've been happier doing this and hopefully the views will be good on them. The views on the first so one were good. You're relatively new to epoxy. You like, yeah, this is the first like big epoxy project I've ever done. You did done. the epoxy joint thing, which I still yeah. think is it's, like the most original, yeah. but still like not trying too hard yeah. to creative use of epoxy where you broke Only mildly the gimmicky. The idea is super gimmicky, gimmick. but the execution <laughs> is tasteful. Yeah. That's what that's all that matters. It was it's a subtle like, gimmick. You can, go, you can go full gimmick, but as long as it just kind of looks cool at the end, that's right, all that yeah. matters. Like I mean, we've talked enough trash on epoxy. Yours look fantastic back here. Thank you. I love the single color, like that black. It's yeah, like yeah, no, beautiful. Turquoise. It matches. Yeah, exactly. It matches the tone of the wood. What is that? Is that more ash that you're using? So the tops are elm. elm. They're elm slabs. Elm. And then the base of that one's red oak that's sprayed black, and then that one's maple with like a little bit of the elm worked into the base for detail. I like it though. Are it's these like for a lot commissions of, or? Uh, so. They will be for sale, so I've made like a for sale spot on the webpage for people to buy it. But again, instead of like only doing a commission when it comes up, and then you know, usually whenever I've had that happen, the people have been great and like they're willing to kind of let me have some freedom with it. Yeah, this since there is no client beforehand, do whatever we want, and then hopefully somebody likes it and wants to buy it on spec. Yes, on there you spec, go. yeah, exactly. But that's the cool part about having good design is. Hopefully, if you just do the coolest thing you can think of, it's maybe cooler than a client suggestion. Yeah, my ideas are better than theirs. Or it's going to be at least <laughs> all you, so Not that's always. cool. It speeds up the work process.